when that when that music does come on. I mean, I know you hear it all the time. Wait, is it still shooting its shells? Yes, it's million times. Is that what it means? That's what it means to me. Did you grow up uh, watching the uh, the Home Group Cutters? Of course I did. Wow, what a sports. What did you do? Yeah, oh, Scott and Mark! Okay. We were just going to talk about this yesterday! <laughs> no, seriously, and then the Super Globe Trotters? Are you kidding me? That was so awesome. Maybe we should bring that back. You need to work on that. Yeah, I need to be one of those guys. That would be awesome. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Bruton is with us this morning, and he is a member of the Harlem Globetrotters. going to be in town on Monday. They are playing at Century Lake Arena, 7 o'clock Monday. Tickets on sale right now at harlemglobetrotters.com and also centurylinkarenaboise.com. A lot of basketball to talk about because Alana is a is a coach. She uh, you know coaches girls basketball, so I'm sure we can talk about the game for a second. But before we get there, I want to talk about your grandma. Okay. <laughs> because she raised twelve kids. Twelve grandkids. Twelve grandkids. She raised them though. Yeah. Well, not all, not all at the same time, but uh-huh. some sometime during you know us growing up. There was a total of twelve grandkids coming through the house, staying with her. Oh my gosh! Yeah. How did she stay sane? <laughs> Well, you know, it was just one of those things. We needed her, and, and, and she was there for us, you know. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. How did you not get lost in the shuffle? I mean, was it just because you were the tallest kid? Well, I jumped the <laughs> so. <laughs> so was she, what kind of inspiration did she give you to keep going? Because, I mean, you, got, you weren't really a, a team basketball player before you even got no. to college. So what kind of inspiration did she give you to, to even go to college and do all that? Well, you know, I used to get up early in the morning as a kid. I, I'd get up and my grandfather, and, and she would be up at 5 a.m., huh. and, and she would cook breakfast, and he would go to work. And, you know, I just see how hard they would work. You know, and I didn't know we were we didn't have a lot at the time, but as I got older, I, I seen that, and I always wanted to give them something better. Hmm. You know, I really worked hard for her because I wanted to show her my appreciation, hmm. and so that's why I began to work hard in basketball because wow. it wasn't just for me. I always proved to my grandmother that how much I cared for, her. and now I know I didn't have to do that. You know, just by me saying I loved her would have done enough. Yeah. But you know, later on at the time, I wanted to do so much for her. So I, I work hard because, you know, I want to become a professional basketball player. And, uh, you know, and, and she knew how much I loved her before she passed away. She knew that. So. What was her name? Her name was Lucille. 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 My grandma, that's right. <laughs> did yeah. she know that you made the Globetrotters before she passed away, though? Yes, yes. Yeah, she I, did. Yeah, oh, she must have been so proud. She was very proud of me. And, you know, you know she's still, that's the biggest part of my heart, my grandmother. Yeah. I bet. Wow. Highlight Bruton is with us this morning. One of the Harlem Globetrotters is going to be uh, at CenturyLink Arena on Monday. Tickets on sale right now for that show. Now, your grandmother also taught you a little something about uh, fishing. That's right, fishing. Yeah. <laughs> All the time. You know, uh, every, every weekend, she would take us to a little, you know, a little lake or you know, a stream or something. We'd go out there and fish just to pass away the time. You know, if we were good, she would take us there. If we wasn't, you know, we have to rake the leaves or something. <laughs> Pretty good fishing here. We got the river just out here outside the radio station. Yeah, it's a little cold right now, but you know. Well, I'm thinking about you, you know, us, us to be getting together, getting on a little boat and go out oh, there. Oh, that'd be awesome. Well, you know, you know, this one. Oh my God. Exactly. <laughs> Unless there's a bathroom on the boat. No. I can't <laughs> no. No, I, but, but there's a there's a big thing they do here called tubing. They tube the river and they float it, right? I mean, oh, so it's awesome. I, I, again, I haven't done it yet. It's no, just because a, he's terrified of a boat. Well, I, I, you know, I just don't like to think about the whole. See, it's like flying. I don't like to fly because there's that opportunity to tr- to crash. Yeah. You know, it's the same thing. No, I'm just saying. It's the same thing with getting on the boat. I don't like the whole drowning thing. So I'm like, <laughs> ground. I'm going ground. I'm really, really confident on the ground. So being a globetrotter, we were talking a little bit earlier about the Scooby-Doo stuff and the, and the superhero cartoons and the fact that it's been around since before we were kids yep. and stuff. Um, the legacy of the globetrotters and, and the way you look back at those times now, do you realize that you're a part of something kind of bigger than yourself? And how do you honor that? Well, I do realize um, the guys before me, you know, they really set the set set the table for us. Mm. You know, so all we have to do is just go out there and just keep it going. I mean, it's an honor for me to wear the white, white, and blue. Mm. I mean, I'm glad I did have the colors because not only does it stand for the whole world trials, but most importantly, it stands for the country. Amen. Mm-hmm. So when we're out and, and uh, you know, going around um, different countries. You know, we don't know where we are. Who we are? We are the Harlem Globetrotters, and we represent the United States of America. And I'm, I'm very proud of that. Did wow. you ever have a favorite Globetrotter? Uh, Meadow Lark was my favorite. Sure. You know, Meadow Lark Lemon. He just stood out. You know, his voice, the way he interacted with the crowd. Uh, I also like Curly Neal. Oh um, yeah. The bald head, him mm-hmm. spinning, the, the big smile he had. You know, and I always try to picture myself being like, like those guys. Yeah.
Well, it's, it, because it's about the kids. I mean, you have you you have to be um, you have to disarm kids. Well, most kids will run up to you anyway because again, they see you twirling the ball with your finger and stuff like that. But it, it's it's about I guess inspiring the kids, making them feel happy, encouraging a healthy lifestyle. Of course, that's what it's all about. You know, we're we're up there in that court, and this ball is rolling up and down the court. It may not move, but you have to be in good shape. <laughs> You can't do anything. You can't, you can't smoke cigarettes and be all in drugs. Right? You'll right. give out of gas. You can't drink alcohol. You'll give out of gas. So mm-hmm. we're well, trying to teach those kids to live a healthy lifestyle. And you, can, you too can come out here and do what we do. It's just practice. It's practice and, and, and believing in yourself. Hmm. Highlight, Burton is with us this morning from the Harlem Globe Traders. Can you stick around just a little bit longer? Yes, sir. Okay, we got to take a quick break for traffic. Uh, they are at the uh, CenturyLink Arena on Monday, 7 o'clock. Details at HarlemGlobeTraders.com or CenturyLinkArenaBoise.com.